Hello everybody, I'm going to read a story called Bat Mask and it's an adventure story and it's funny too and it's written by Steve Smallman. Mum, said Pip, it's a flying mouse. That's not a mouse, said Mum, it's a bat. Squeak! I wish I could fly, said Pip. When I grow up, can I be a bat? You can't be a bat, said Mum. Look, you don't have any wings. So Pip made some wings out of a car old cardboard box. Soon he was ready for takeoff. Look, Mum, I'm Batmouse. Pip rushed around squeaking his squeakiest squeak and flapping his cardboard wings up and down, but he just couldn't fly. So he tried again and again and again. He flapped till he flopped, tired and dizzy on the floor. Never mind, Pip said mum to cheer him up she made his favorite supper stinky cheese and biscuit crumbs at bedtime pip couldn't get comfortable his wings kept getting caught in the covers that's because bats hang upside down when they sleep said mum pip tried lying upside down but he still wasn't comfortable. The next morning, Pip climbed up to the top of Windy Hill. Time to fly, he squeaked, flapping his wings as hard as he could. Pip jumped. Bump. He landed on his bottom and rolled over and over and over all the way down the hill. Pip's head was spinning, his bottom was bruised and his wings were all tattered and torn. Then he heard a familiar sound. Squeak! It was coming from inside a little cave. The cave was dark and spooky, but Pip tried to be brave. Hello, he squeaked. Hello, said an upside down voice. I am Albert. Who are you? I'm P -P Pip. And I'm a bat mouse. Really? asked Albert. But you seem to be the wrong way up. Oops, sorry, said Pip. And he stood on his head. <laughs> Your wings look a bit cardboardy, said Albert. My real wings haven't grown yet, said Pip. Ah, that explains it, said Albert with a smile. Well, little bat mouse, are you hungry? Pip was very hungry. Have you got any stinky cheese? He asked. Stinky cheese? cried Albert. Bats don't eat stinky cheese. How about a nice juicy moth? Pip looked at the moth and burst into tears. I'm not a bat mouse, he blurted. I don't want to live in a spooky cave or eat moths or hang upside down but I really, really want to fly. Then fly with me, said Albert. Just this once, he picked Pip up and carried him out into the twinkly, twink light sky. Then soared over Windy Hill through the treetops and finally landed right outside Pip's house. 
Well, little bat mouse, whispered Albert, do you like flying? I think so, said Pip, who felt dizzy and scared and excited all at once. Thank you, Albert. As Albert fluttered away, Pip spotted a big pile of earth. First a nose, then two feet, pushed their way above the ground. Look, Mum, cried Pip, it's a digging mouse. That's not a mouse, Pip, it's a mole, said Mum. When I grow up, can I be a mole, asked Pip. Here we go again, sighed Mum. The end, and I hope you enjoyed this funny, adventurous story.